Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yes, my name is Tevin Vassal. Um, I'm basically it's known as Mr. Emotions. I'm a poet from South London, and I use my Twitter as a platform to help people through mental health. I've recently suffered with depression. I'm still, I'm still overcoming the boundaries, but I'm still using that. I'm still using Twitter as a platform to help people through that. People contact me through DM, and obviously through the threads that I post, through the affirmations and the positivity that I impose. Um, as a result of that, um, I've recently been um, in BBC or BBC4, um, done a documentary with them, and that got screened on the BFI. Um, and that was basically about mental health. Again, me speaking about my depression and two other poets that were speaking about their own journey through mental health as well and what they suffer with. Um, with Sky, um, I was basically talking about how there's racism still in Britain and how it still exists through, obviously, its whole entirety and how that affects minorities and the BAM community. The great power comes great responsibility, but it's only then they want to conquer and divide instead of conquer and unite, there's no unified community. Huh. I was told prevention is better than cure. It never made sense to me until I got sick of living or feeling. I was always stuck in this loop of negativity and it was always one I said I could never recover from. But this is the life I said I didn't want to live. But you don't have to live. See, when it comes to mental health and depression, people always say that you're, you're less than a person. But they don't understand that the person that you are or what you're battling through. So how can they ever understand your journey? But it's all right though, because positivity and the affirmations that I spread will always be the love that you need in your heart. No one ever told me this, but listen, you had this from the start, and you got this. You see depression? Listen, it's a state of being tired. And you just woke yeah. up. It's like uh, your spirit is so yeah. drained. Like you don't even know it's how the fuck to feel. It's, it's like, like <laughs> even though I'm like still like going through the motions, it's, kind of it's actually know. like that I actually go through it every day. It's a different, it's a different state of mind. You get me? It's not. It's not like how people normally think of it or how people normally see things see it through. It's just a different, different state of mind. And obviously it's, it's always like as if the parents is as if you're not doing anything, you're lazy. With your friends, it's like you're not the normal person, you're not the talkative person that you used to be, what happened. Or if you're shying away from people, you're, 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 you're closed in in yourself, you created a new shell that night. You feel that you can't even break yourself out of It's just a whole different state of mind. Yeah, if people don't understand what you're going through or even understand the flux of depression, they don't understand what it is to feel like that or being in that state of mind. My coping mechanism is literally to give people the affirmation of what to do. Like, give them certain threads that obviously inspire them. Uh, and motivate them to keep going for what they need to yeah. do because it's like that helps me uh, helping people helps me yeah it's not it's not just like i'm by myself i do nothing by myself and i'm in my aloneness like i actually help people and that helps me that's why i've used twitter as a platform to help people do what they need to do because helping people just helps me and that is literally what i do you get me um the solution now you would say to, to get out of that state of mind you literally have to keep moving forward you get me like um one of my friends um i think it was Haley, and she was like yo like you gotta keep moving forward you get me 
like no matter what you do keep moving forwards like if you if you literally are in a state of negativity or a loop of negativity always you are never gonna like you're always gonna stay in the same place that you are in it like keep moving forward and that's what you need to keep doing so that is literally i think the solution keep moving forward keep being positive and just keep being you you get me like there's no there's no other person you can be in it like don't ever compare yourself or put it in a pyramid scheme that someone's at the top I can't get there you get me like we're all running the race it's not a competition like if you get to the finish line before me I have no reason to be jealous of that like we're all traveling a certain distance just because you don't get to that distance and you're trying to travel over hurdles you get me like you you will get there you just have to overcome that handle then there's another one there's another one coming for you and you're bigger and stronger for that one you get me because you've learned from your past lesson how to get over that one so you know how to get over the next one and that's my solution I feel that poetry community helps with mental health with myself and others um, with using poetry as a form of ventilation and expression because it helps express traumatic experiences that people have gone through. I feel that it will help people tackle their depression and anything they're going through because it helps people now express the part of them that they hold dear like or the part of them that they really they really are struggling to tell because i think even telling your own story in any form of expression in terms of poetry as well in front of a group of people you don't know that becomes a whole lot harder than than you could possibly imagine like even me being a host i've seen so many people grow and I've seen so many people like be so hard on themselves, especially when they're on the stage. So I can definitely say that in order to tackle it, is to just speak about it because it could help so many other people that you don't even know. Constellations turning into supernova. Don't ever say that you're finished in a world that's hoping that you give up. I feel poetry community has created a community from making a safe haven of people that you can now call family. I think I basically started started my career with them, like career of hosting, like doing so many intricate things and even to be able to tell my own story to people. Like I think that has created like such a base of people where you can you can just talk about anything. Like literally and it's not even about poetry, it is literally about anything. And like like you were saying, like the walks of life, like that is so important because really and truthfully people need something to relate to something something to bring them back to something away from life you get me and it's poetic unity like i don't even know like it's so i've got so much love for this company yeah. like it's so mad to even explain that like, what they actually do but it's so much more than just poetry or poetry night like, every wednesday like we get many people from different walks of life like you were saying like as many as many as, well, not even as many as, as young as like 12. I think no, the last person that came was 10 years old. 10 years old. And actually came to perform, like, that is mad. Like, actually, that like, was our first time. And it was just crazy. But I think from the work that we do from going into schools and doing like so many workshops in schools, like the community just gets bigger every single time. Like, it's not even just about the event. Like, the event is like one part of poetic unity, but other than that, it's literally so many other things as well. So many other things that you want to branch out to, like obviously you want to eventually go into prisons. Like, but that is literally, oh, it's mad. Like, there's so many things. There's so many things. There is so many things. I think the importance on self-love it's quite simple but you've got to give yourself so much love <laughs> that uh, it, it, it cancels out so many other yeah. things in your life because love yeah uh, like people say that love yeah. love hurts like love is a kaleidoscope love love is for, it's is a forever changing force and if it isn't changed then it's infatuation but you see self-love now yeah I feel 
personally, you just need to give so much love to yourself. Like the same love that you give to other people. Give that wholeheartedly to yourself. And when I say when I say give that wholeheartedly to yourself, I mean because me, I'm a mental health advocate. Yeah. So what I would do, I would basically use my twitter as obviously a platform to help people now obviously when when i dm people or when people dm me sorry yeah like i would um i would always help them and give them advice but the advice i would give to people i would never give to myself now that's the exact same thing that i should never do like i should always help myself as well as help other people but when i tweet well when i like, obviously do a lot of tweets on my twitter um it helps me as well like so even when people are like yo like you've helped me like your tweets are amazing it's like those same things help me and those things are used for me as well like those are my sort of ventilation so yeah that's that's basically it just give yourself so much love and all of that love will come right back to you Um, my advice for anyone who is feeling like this or feeling suicidal is literally in your own time reach out to people, reach out to friends. It's, it's really hard to to focus on everything that's going around you or everything that is going on around you because you're, you're pressured or you're feeling backed up into a corner but it's got, there are people that want to help, there are people that want to help you, there are people that love you and there's people that need you even if you don't feel it there are people that love you and need you they feel that just because they don't tell you every day they just expect you to know but some people need to know like some people are needy some people are like on a consistent basis where they need that love and care Yo, I'm Tevin Vassal, this is my health, and this is my journey, now tell me yours.